and I'm starting. Hello, my name is 064, and welcome to episode 2 of the 104th podcast. I am here with my co-host, Wire. Hello, hello. <laughs> yeah. Episode 2, and I, we still don't know what the fuck we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about everything and, mm. and nothing else. So Everything and nothing all at the same time. Indeed. So, That's true. what have you been up to? Uh, what I've been up to the last week, uh, I finally got some good work done at work. Uh, we've been um, just, uh, battling over some big lists, some big to-do lists I see. Uh, to prepare. Uh, so we uh, managed to control it. It's smaller now since oh. some colleagues came back from vacation. Uh, other than that, I made... Uh, some bread in my free time and today I started working again uh, what about you if I end up coming over at some point you're gonna have to make me some uh, oh. uh, me I have been up to a lot of things actually I'm at my parents house right now chilling with my dad uh, oh. um, yeah we were gonna play destiny today I forgot my Xbox at home though so I gotta go grab it uh, and on top of that, I am, uh, I guess I'm, I'm a little peeved a bit with the 104th right now in particular. Mm -hmm. Not your fault, it's not anyone's fault, I'm just a little frustrated. Um, oh. Odyssey and Sentinel as a whole got passed up and that just rubbed me the wrong way. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure they had their reasons, but it's just, uh, it really rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah. Well, yeah, that can happen, of course. Yeah. So that was on Friday. Uh, I joined a star sim recently for Armor 3. Mm -hmm. That has been very, very interesting. Um, there's a bunch of different scenarios you can make in Armor 3, and, uh, it's just... Like, in one of our operations that we did the other day, we literally have four capital ships above us on Tatooine. Mm -hmm. Because they were fighting the Mandalorians, and that was just absolutely insane. There was shit flying everywhere. I have the video I um, recorded for the one operation that I did, and I recorded the operation I did last night. Oh, nice. Yeah, I saw the, I saw the video... On um, the oil rig, or how you, whatever you call it. Yeah, yeah, that was a part of one of our fun ops that we did. Uh, ah, okay. So that was very, very interesting, and I'm excited to see where it goes. Also, welcome, Tear. I am glad Hello. to have you. Um, yeah, me and Wire were just talking about the 91st for a little bit because <coughs> we were going over what we were doing throughout the week. So I guess what have you been up to? Well, mighty first stuff as well. I've mm. just been grinding out calls, um, mm. working on medical. Mm. Oh, let's uh, working on my medical qual. Mm. Um, so basically, the way medical works in there is you actually have to perform stuff. So mm. if you get shot in the arm, you have to put bandages on there. Um, well, I'm going for medic, so you did. There's more in depth. So we have to perform in-field surgery. So, like, stitches so, and stuff like that. A little different than that. Oh. So, if you get shot in battle and you're bleeding out, you could apply bandages, but those eventually will come off. So, yes, that is part for um, the stitching. The doc can come up and just give you a stitch. But there's more to it, so mm -hmm. you can break your bones in armor. Um, and it used to be as simple as put on a splint and fix it. Well, now medics are going more in depth to where we need to perform surgery on you. So there's things like IV needles. Um, there, there. It's a lot more in depth that it, you'd have to read it to kind of understand yeah. it. Yeah. But um, so instead of like pa pushing blood into you, when you need blood, instead of just you know selecting the right arm and putting blood in, I have to put an IV needle into you and then pump the blood in. 
Um, if your heart rate, you know, you have no heart rate, I could use a defibrillator. I see. If you break your bones, I have to use things like bone plates, uh, blo bone plates, sorry, Scal scalpels, clamp, retractor, um, different types of medicine, so basically to sedate you or wake you up. I see. Um, there's things like auto bandaging, basically medicines that uh, they mostly promote blood clotting. So you basically heal yourself. Um, I'm going to try and promote more of the 91st throughout my social channels that I have, like my YouTube, my Instagram, stuff like that. Just to flesh it out a bit, I was on uh, a call with Roach earlier. Um, they're going to try, well, Roach said he didn't really see a problem in me doing a ride-along for the episode for Jade that I was going to do. Um, just to see what they do. It would have to be during a fun op. Uh, but I talked to him about that uh, to get my recording equipment set up. Uh, he was going to talk to the other guys, make sure it was okay that I do that. But Damn. That is going to be very, very That's lucky. Um, my next one I'm going to do is probably Nova or uh, Beskar. Because Beskar is the one I'm trying to get into. What's what's Beskar? Beskar what's is the armored division of the ninety first. Oh, okay. So think of like yeah, tanks. Yeah, so there's different divisions. Yeah. So you know how we have uh, jet troopers? Those are a complete different department. So those guys would be well, Monka. in the other dark units, it would be uh, the airborne, but uh -huh. they have just jetpacks. Mm. So oh. they're they're classified as a quick reaction force. So if you're getting clapped, your platoon is getting clapped. Well, they're going to come save you. Or jump in and get you out of there. Uh, okay. A lot of members within the 104th have been joining. For those who have PCs. Some. Uh, well, some, yeah. Not a lot, but I'd say some. Uh, to explain I've... you what Gark was, Wire, mm -hmm. since you don't know. Um, Gark mm -hmm. is a unit combined of... We'll get, give me a second to think of which one. It's the 91st, the 212th, the 501st. The 501st, the 85th, the 327th, and the 101st. Mm. I believe I didn't say that. Okay. Um, so basically the way it works is they're all just... Com they're basically combined. It's not like how Battlefront 2 runs it where, you know, they're all on the same server, blah, 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 blah. They're just buddies that, you know, their groups are together. And so if I... Actually, I could use say from personal experience. I was in the 101st. And I filled out my transfer forms to move over to a different unit. So I moved over to the 91st mm -hmm. transfer form. So I can't just be like, okay, well, now today I want to be the 91st. Today I want to be the 101st. Today I want to be 501st. No, I actually I'll have to, like, fill out forms and then work through the transfer to get over there. Uh, so, you're gonna just, so you can't just jump into other units yeah. if you like. Yeah. Okay. And you have to have reasons and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, um, I have more experience than a bunch of the guys that were joining in. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I ha was in for, I think, around maybe two to three years at this point. I've been a part of GARC. Um, different units, each one. So, for two years, I was part of the 101st. For a little bit, I was in the 212th. It just wasn't my fit. And then I moved over to the 91st. 91st okay. is a great place. Okay, interesting. Yeah, so each one has different quals. So, um, we were talking about ARC. So, Jade is ARC troopers. Um, in the... I think it's in the 212. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Um, but they have a different name for it. So, each unit has different names. Like, um, the 101st. Their jet troopers are called Dagger. Dagger Platoon. Yeah. And then they have just different types of names and stuff. So... Um, it's different across each one in the way they perform. Like, the 212th, ARC troopers act as, he like, heavy infantry. So, if, say, four of us are a fire team, well, we'd have one ARC trooper with us as the heavy trooper. So, basically, he's, like, the mentor to the CTs. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's also allowed to perform things like moving off on his own to go do SF stuff. Um, mostly, the RCs have their own do job and do whatever they want. Uh, in like the 501st, they're just their own separate thing. They're like how um, A Troop is over here. Like, we're our own separate thing. We're not Army, we're not Navy, we're 
a complete opposite. Okay, yeah. Uh, to elaborate on that a bit, that's just one of the things that um, I've been working on personally as well as Tear has. Uh, alongside that, though, uh, I got a new car this week, too, following my wreck that I had the previous week. Uh, oh, nice. That's completely paid off as well. Uh, and then... Uh, I got a new car, yeah. Uh, and I just... I've been working, just trying to make money, stuff like that. My insurance is probably going to skyrocket because of my wreck. I already see that coming. Just shit like that. It's just... I guess life and adulting is a better way of putting it. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass at times. <laughs> <laughs> well, adulting is a pain in the ass. Yeah, that's true. Um... But my trip is still on for October, which is going to be good. Um, and then I was going to download uh, DaVinci Resolve here soon and focus on my editing a bit. Because I keep um, not getting a lot of comments, but on my videos and stuff like that, I keep getting... My friends keep telling me that my content is shit, I guess is the way of putting it. Because oh. I don't I don't really edit it a lot. I just mm -hmm. play through it and then I upload it. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to try working on my editing a bit. Like, the whole basis around it is it's supposed to be grounded, I guess is the way of putting it. Not heavily edited to the point where it's like something of its own creation. I want to keep it grounded so it feels more real. Yeah. And yeah, it's I'm just, just that's just something no. something I've been doing. Okay, well th that's um. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Besides the ninety first tear, has there have you been doing anything else? Uh, yeah, you um, I haven't been really doing anything really IRL mm -hmm. as my family is pretty sick, so I'm mostly staying home and cooking for them. Yeah, that kind. You missed the shot, man. Yeah, your mom threw it over there. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, I haven't been really doing anything IRL as my family's sick, so I've kind of been staying home, taking care of them. But yeah. yeah, my brother was sick just a little bit ago, and he just got over it. So I get you. Uh, I'm gonna try moving up with an Amazon here soon. Uh, also, the new expansion for Destiny is about to release as well. I know, pretty random, but I'm taking off for the 28th, March 10th, and then March 11th as well. And I'm going to use vacation time for all three of those days. To play Destiny. Yes, so March 10th and March 11th is the day one raid. And then February 28th is when the expansion itself releases. And uh, since I don't... Follow oh. Destiny. I played the first one, uh, but I guess you're talking about the second one. What, yes. What expansion? So, uh, this is uh, the expansion is called Lifefall. It's following mm -hmm. the story of the Witness, which was from Witch Queen, and even before that, and how Callus became his second disciple. Which is, um, Rolk was his first disciple, and then Callus was his second disciple, and their objective is, I guess, to so, I need to explain this in a way you guys would understand. So, mm -hmm. to dumb it down, the witness converted the hive, which were known as the krill, converted the krill into the hive and gave them what's called the sword logic. The sword logic states that any species um, that is lower than them must be killed off because only the highest species can survive. The problem with that line of thinking is, is that eventually you're going to get to the top and there will be nobody left. No. So the, they're trying to kill off the entire, I guess, the entire system, I guess, is a way of putting it. And we're trying to stop that. Um, okay. Life all takes place on Neptune in a city that was never found called Neomuna. And... You, we find this power called Strand, 
also never been found by anyone prior to us finding it there. So, and on March 10th and March 11th, the day one raid in specific is very special to me because uh, I have three, soon to be four raid jackets under my belt. I have Deep Zone, I have Vow Disciple, I have Vault of Glass. Um, mm -hmm. And these raid jackets are very special because you can only get them within the first week of the raid releasing. Um, a raid in particular is a six-man activity that your team has to work together in order to defeat it. There are mechanics within the raid, things you have to do, and a day one raid race is very special because nobody knows what they're doing. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm going to try to complete it within the first week, and then bef even before that, within the first 48 hours of the raid coming out, because if you do that, you will get a special emblem to show that you actually did do it. Now, so that's what I'm prepping for on the gaming side of things. I've also been looking at other things when it comes to gaming. There's been a lot of, uh, I was going to play Hogwarts Legacy as well do a whole series for that there's been a lot mm -hmm. of contra controversy around that game recently as well yeah like, I've, I've heard it i've heard it a lot of people think that uh i guess jk jk rowling has very um interesting views i'll just put it at that uh <laughs> and that's a good way she, to put it yeah. she's entitled to those i will give her that she is entitled to that um and people believe that if you buy Hogwarts Legacy, that you are supporting her views. Yeah, but that's true. The pro, um, the thing with that line of thinking is that you need to separate art from the person. They are two yeah. separate things, and a lot of people don't see that, and it just exploded. I've been seeing it all over the place. Um. Another thing I've been seeing all over the place. Uh, <laughs> do you guys know what DK Oldies is by any chance? Maybe you've seen what? it floating around. DK Oldies? Yeah. Um, uh, no. 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 It's a retro game store over here in Pennsylvania. It's right beside me. I'm in Ohio. It is in Pennsylvania. And um, a lot of scam allegations have been going around about them because... Of the simple fact that they're selling quote unquote refurbished consoles, but people are popping open the consoles and taking off the warranty sticker they put on, and that shit is broken as hell. Some of the consoles don't even work, some of them are dusty as fuck. So people believe they're being scammed now. So, I've been following that story as well, and just, um, I'm gonna try uploading a couple commentary videos, uh, as well see how those do uh, alongside my gaming stuff because um, my gaming stuff is my main thing I want to do um, okay but yeah uh, what uh, what do you play a lot of besides Battlefront 2 and Arma tear um honestly I don't play a lot of games um what do you do? Usually, I kind of just sit here. Oh, either I sit here trying to figure out renders, or it's, sometimes I try to read. I don't know. Some books are alright, but um, mostly I'll sit there, look up uh, recipe videos as I'm trying to become a full cook and just make it my profession. Oh, as my. my grandfather and my oldest brother are, we're both cooks. And so, you know, I looked up to those two a lot. You well, should... I still look up to my brother, but I used to look up to my grandpa. Mm. You should ask Wire about that. He's not really, I wouldn't say a de facto cook, but he's a pastry chef. So you may <laughs> learn a thing or two from him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, but yeah, no, talking about that, um, yesterday... I, I've started walking this year, just walk rounds in my town, and I was like, um, I didn't know what I wanted to do, what I wanted to follow, 
um, either the pastry chef and I become a head chef in a pastry shop or bakery, or I want to follow the the, the cook line and the chef's line and become a head chef of a kitchen. I'm not sure yet, um, but I'm intrigued by both of those choices. So I'm deciding on. I've already been organizing my recipes and stuff because they were all over the place on my phone. I already have two books uh, of bread recipes and some pastry recipes. Uh, and I have a lot of recipes from school. So yeah, uh, that's about me. When you make it, are you going to remember me? No. Um, Valentine's Day, how are you to stand up against it? Oh, that's right. Valentine's Day is coming. Yeah, uh, Tuesday. Tuesday? Holy... I don't have a Valentine's. Oh, my. Do you? No. Do you, sir? I unfortunately do. Oh, uh, you unfortunately do. Oh, shit. Yeah, I have to spend money. Good luck. What are, what, what, what are your plans for Valentine's Day, too? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Wedge and old uh, AT Wedge messaged me. I'm exposing him right now. He messaged me and said, Will you be my Valentine? I just set up a cat staring back at him. Oh. Sergeant Major Dorn is my Valentine. Oh, oh good lord. <laughs> so it seems no, no. We, have, we have four, four, ah. four uh, guys who do not have a Valentine. <laughs> nah, it, that whole thing doesn't really matter to me. No, come. Uh, but if you have a, if you would have a girlfriend, uh, would you celebrate it? Hard pass. Oh, hard okay. pass. Hard pass. I'll you give her. Know. I'll give her a box of chocolates and you call it a day. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, technically Elvis. I would. I don't know. I don't understand most of those days. Like, yeah, I get it. That's one time where you're supposed to be romantic and all that. But mm -hmm. that's just not. For me, not the whole romantic part, but I don't think it should be just on one day. Like, if yeah, I get a partner, I'm gonna treat him like, you know, I'm gonna treat her like I would any other day. And yeah, just another day. Why as best as I can. On the 14th of February. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Does anybody know? It's just how I am. I don't know. Okay. That's intriguing. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. I was about to call you Winters, Benetta. What what calls are you going for? Oh, uh, I'm going for best car. I'm going to get every call I can, but I'm going for best car if I can. Mm -hmm. It's a good detachment. Uh, or I might go Nova. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just going for whatever I can as well. I want to get Zeus. Um, I'm actually gonna be getting it later tonight. Zeus well, training's easy. Hopefully. Not easy, but they host it all the time. Kind of, yeah. It's It won't be too hard. It's just learning the basics. Only reason I really want to do it is because, well, the whole thing for me was when I was in the 101st. My squad didn't have many brain cells. And so they usually died. And as a medic, that's very irritating. Um, because, well, I'll say for you, Wire, since you don't know, and you, Narox, mm -hmm. since you don't know. Um, when you get shot in Arma, like I said, your body takes damage. So if you get shot in the head, you could get knocked out. Any, like, you get shot in the body enough, you'll get knocked out. You, you can do things uh -huh. like bleeding out. You can do things like your, like I said, your arm's broken. You could mm -hmm. leg, you can't break your chest or, you know, your skull. But um, it's only your arms and legs can get broken. So basically, if you get sh if you break your legs, you can't run. You limp. If you break your arms while trying to aim, your arms you're just gonna be swaying. It's gonna be very hard for you to aim in. So one of the things I struggled a lot with being a medic in the one of first was that my squad didn't really understand how to work the battlefield. Mm -hmm. um, so we were having a op where it's basically just defense defend this one outpost and they just kept, they were just sending swarms of droids at us well me and the other medic set up a ccp which is a casualty point basically you know if you go down in the front lines bayonetta will come grab you and drag you back to me so i could pick you know get you up well so the problem was that the droids can throw grenades there's area of effect in that game they could shoot they could shoot 
rockets at you. They could bring a tank and blow you up with one shot. It's, yeah. So, when they were in that op, all the time, they were right next to each other, just hugging each other. There's a thing called spacing. Mm -hmm. They never really used it. So, I would, I got ticked off and went on air radio and said, space the F out. Like, I'm getting tired of this. Space out. They refused to space out, and then the next five seconds, since they didn't listen, they got bombed. All of them oh. were down, and I had to sit there and fix them all. And there's things like mass chasms. So, um, the cool thing with Arma is that it, it's it depends on what it is. So, like, the little stuff is cool. Like, uh, we have radio etiquette. Yeah. So, yeah. we have things like mass chasms, uh, medics to call out. So, it'd be in the 101st, it was different from how it is the 91st. But the way it'd go in the 101st was uh, it'd be break, 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 mass chasm, mass chasm, mass chasm, grid reference. This number, this number, this number, break. This number, this number, this number. Marky with purple smoke, and then just say anything at that point, like help the help me, please. And then, you know, the other medics will run to your position. Whoever is available, they will run to your position. We had a mask um, as so we had many of those that op, and I was just getting so frustrated. And it's hard. It's hard to deal with them because sometimes they just bleed out. We had a mass cast during the op last night. Uh, I got separated from uh, my squad because I went to the wrong LAAT. Um, so I ended up landing with Jade is what ended up happening. So I ha went with Roach took was taking me all the way back to 1-1's one position. And we ran all the way over there, all the way back. That's why Roach is there. And then we got to the top of the hill. And then an artillery shell hit us and blew us all to hell. Okay. Yeah, mask houses are a pain in the ass to work on. Sound Especially is... if you're just by yourself, because it can get very stressful. Sound because a mask house is five or more down. Sound can work magic. Work magic though. I have seen him pull mm -hmm. mask houses out himself, mm -hmm. and I don't know how he does it. Well, so I say it's a pain in the ass. It it isn't exactly hard to be a medic. Obviously, you have to know your shit. But if you know your shit, you can get through any mass cast. Like I've gotten, um, it was I think it was like three or four mass casts in a row on the same location. I dealt it all on my own. It yeah. it's hard. It's it's very difficult because half of the time you're like, okay, is this guy gonna bleed out? Is this guy gonna bleed out while I'm helping this guy? You gotta figure out what to do so one thing that they do is uh, you could tourniquet your arms and legs and then you pass their chest basically it's called their vital point so their chest and head that's the point if you put uh fix that up you're good so the problems with mask has is but the very good part is that when you have multiple people there's an easy fix to do it to save them all but at the same time it all depends on time, because if if I go to Bayonetta while he's on the ground, but turns out you, Wire, are, way, are over here, but you're almost dead, and I didn't know mm -hmm. that, I go to Bayonetta first, try to patch him up, and you die, because I didn't know. And it, it's hard. It's hard to uh, figure out who you need to go to first. So one of the things that I did in my, my training for Medic was, you know, when a mass cast happens... Go to each person almost immediately. Patch as much as you can, as fast as possible, and each person will get whatever you can. And then from there, you move on and go to the who's in the most danger. Okay. That's interesting. So the medic live in Arma is pretty difficult. Yeah, yeah, kind of. It's it, Like I said, it's just off of your experience. Like, at that point of the 101st, I was so experienced to where I was able to handle four mass casts in a row without a single medic helping me. Okay, but um, you know, being new with this new system, it's gonna suck because surgery is a bitch. Yeah, it it, it could take a very long time. Because one thing you have to do is check what type of injury <clears throat> it is. So you you could it's like it could be a simple fracture, it could be different. There's I think there's three separate that they have in there. So three separate fractures, and if it's a simple one, you just pop it back into place. If not. If it's the other two, you have to clean out clean out the wound. You have to do all this type of stuff. Open up the wound. Do this, do that, do this. 
and then do there you go you're done with surgery and that alone takes maybe 30 to 50 seconds so oh, in that time you could be swarmed by droids they could be on your ass if your your security doesn't help out enough yeah, yeah. okay seems pretty hardcore I, uh, yeah, totally that, that's why that's why uh, medics usually have pretty good relations <laughs> with their squad mates, mm -hmm. is because, you know, if I'm in your squad, I'm your lifeline, but at the same time, you need to protect me while I protect you, so yeah. you are my cover while I am your lifeline. So it, it, without you, I'm going to get shot up and get my ass kicked. Without me, you go on the ground, you're done. You're, you're basically yeah. going to sit out there and bleed. Yeah. So it, we, you ri rely on each other. You have each other's backs half of the time. So if I call into my squad, hey, you know, I need this many people to go in there, the squad is going to be like, okay, yeah, you guys go with them. You guys help yeah. them out. Medics okay. are really never off on their own. They're always following the squad to back you up. Yeah. Okay, okay. That, that sounds pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't play armor, so... I play more uh, squad with the uh, operation Skira mm. of the wonderful. So you should get Arma. It's fun. I was <laughs> I was thinking about joining Operation Skira before I joined Arma, uh, mm -hmm. before I joined the Gark, but I don't know about it now. I don't know if I can handle two at the same time. Well, I can handle two at the same time. It's just I don't know if I can handle three. Yeah, I can handle four. You know, no, you can't Arma. Oh, sorry, shut up. <laughs> okay, so yeah. <clears throat> um, do we have plans for the upcoming week? Uh, I do. Uh, I am going to see... Oh, today is the Super Bowl, actually. That yeah. reminds me. Today is the Super Bowl. It is the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Mm-hmm. This is a... Is, is it as big as they say it is? Uh, think of it like the championship, not as big compared to the World Cup, but think yeah. of it like the World Cup equivalent to American football. It's like the final tournament, the final match of the season, the best two teams out of the AFC and the NFC throwing it down for one match. Okay. It's pretty fucking big. It's a very American. I was looking at the tickets for oh, it, yeah, just oh, yeah, to see the prices. Yeah. It costs like five or six grand just to get a ticket per person into the Super Bowl. Yeah, it's, it's very expensive. It is very, very expensive, and people who have that type of money are actually fucking insane. Holy shit! And it's the Super Bowl is American football, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. That sounds sounds fun. Yeah. My f father watches uh, some rugby or American food. So. Uh, as ironic as it is, one of my friends' birthday, their birthday is today. One of my oh. friends' anniversary is today, and the Super Bowl oh. is today, all on the same day. Oh my lord. <laughs> yeah, I've never followed the Super Bowl. Maybe that's because I'm a European. So, yeah. Never had something with it. I'm excited for my trip. I clinch. So, yeah. uh. CT clinch. Oh lord. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, he's gone. Uh. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. I just uh. Been making money, working through my rack. Got to pay off my citation before I get arrested. Shit uh -huh. like that. Uh huh. Yeah. So over here, when you get into a wreck, or like if you get pulled over and you get a ticket, it's also called a citation over here. You can waive the ticket by paying the fee directly, so you don't gotta go to court or anything. You admit guilt and you just pay it off, and it's done. Now, if you don't pay it off by the time that you're supposed to appear, which is February 14th for me, which is Tuesday, I have to go to court for it. If I don't go to court, I get a failure to appeal, appear, sorry, and they put a warrant out for my arrest. Yep. How much do you have to pay? 
So I'm gonna go and pay that off on Monday before something happens. Also oh, tomorrow you're going to pay it off. Yeah, tomorrow. Okay. Wait, what happened? You, you said you got into a car wreck, right? Yeah, I was in a car wreck last week. What happened? Uh, I went to turn left on a straight lane and, uh, so I was at an intersection. I went to turn left and there was a car across from me. I didn't see them and I hit them. Damn. Rip. I don't know. I don't have any big plans other than working and relaxing. Neither do I, honestly. Just going to school. Sadly, uh, of course. No, I don't go to school anymore. I've, I'm graduated for one year, so almost two years. So. Lucky you. Uh, no, lucky you. Is it true that after you graduate, like you're lonely? No, what, I wouldn't. What do you mean that. you're alone? No, that depends. That's what that I depends mean. on. No, that depends on the person you are and your priorities because what i hear i'm okay so i'm a sophomore in high school which means i'm i'm in my second year of high school going into my third yeah. next year right yeah. and from what i hear what a lot of people say is that after after your um your senior year your fourth like everybody goes their separate ways it's true everyone does i haven't talk. i haven't talked to some of my classmates and like like a year and a half, almost a year now, if not longer. Jesus. I mean, my, me and my friends are close, but, you know, you know, you never know. People go their separate words. I wouldn't say that. People get caught up with life. Life is a very interesting process, to say the least. Yeah. And it's just people get caught up with work, paying off bills, stuff like that. It's just shit just happens, I guess, is the best way of putting it. To be happy that you're still in school. Yeah. I wouldn't say that. I don't really miss school as much as I did. I I miss school. <laughs> uh, there are times when I would like to go back and just not pay off bills and stuff like that and live rent free, but that's not going to change anything. Yeah, that's true. Uh, oh, that's right. Did any of you guys play the new Dead Space by any chance? No, I don't. I don't mm. play any Dead. Yeah, I don't play Dead Space. Uh, I've been playing more of that. My series has been going well for that. Uh, I was also uh, there was another game that came out called Deliver Us Mars. I played the first game, which was called Deliver Us the Moon, which is more of a puzzle game that I really liked. So I'm thinking about getting the sequel to it. Oh, nice. Which is what... Um, and I just have a lot of series going on right now that I need to finish. Like Jedi Fallen Order. I got Dead Space going simultaneously with new series I'm going to be doing. And there's just a bunch of stuff that I'm doing right now. Just with content creation and just actually trying to make it work. Yeah. Uh, the RE4 remake is about to come out too. I think that comes out in May. Oh, nice. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been up to. For the most part. Okay. Uh, what's gonna happen within the next week? I don't know. I'm I'm not sure. I honestly don't. Oh, I do have to get my car fixed. When we bought the car, the car's paid off, but there's some stuff wrong with it that's gonna need fixed. And I think I might get a whole new engine for the car. A whole new engine, Jesus. So, if you get a whole new engine for the car, 
it turns the miles back completely because it's a brand new engine which makes the car more valuable okay so my idea is to buff out the rust in my car get a new engine put the new engine in and fix the car up so that's worth more trade it in uh, for a price and then get a new car with that Yeah, because the current car I have is it gets 1724. That means 17 miles city, 24 highway, which isn't the greatest. I wish it could be better. I guess is the way of putting it. Because it's going to chug through gas like no tomorrow and gas is already expensive as is. Has sh prices the price of things have been going up over where you are too, wire? Like horrendously. Uh, yeah, inflation and all that stuff. Everything is becoming more expensive. Uh, at my bakery where we you pay now, six euro and fifty cents for one loaf of bread. Jesus. It's crazy expensive. Holy it's, shit. Yeah, I know. It's crazy expensive. But for some reason, we sell every single day. We sell all of our bread. So like, sell out? What the like, fuck is going on? Completely sell out? Yeah, we completely sell out on bread. No, so we, if we if we if we have bread left over, we use it for the breakfast the next day. But uh, yeah, what do you sell your bread at then? What? If it's six euros and 80, 60, 80 euros, what do you sell it at then? No, we we sell it uh, we sell it for six euro fifty. That's why. Yeah. It's probably because the bread is affordable based on other factors. So people are going to buy yeah. from you instead. Well, and uh, the bakery is also a, somewhere placed. Uh, somewhere placed more neutral in the neighborhood where there is no bakery. So that's why people are coming to probably. Still selling out though. That's good, man. Yeah, let's. Uh, yeah, we we also have gas prices going up, uh, house market, uh, all that stuff. Inflation Food. is insane over here, man. I go to a gas station like a sub or something. Like if I want something small, like it's like five bucks for a sub now, almost six dollars with tax. Mhm. Mm and that's just absolutely insane. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, I need to get back into VR a little bit too, as well. Now that I think about it. Oh, nice. Uh, I stopped doing VR stuff once I hit, uh, once I got my PC. But I need to do that because that's like the foundation of everything for me. Yeah. Is there anything you aspire to do, Wire? Inspire to do? Uh, aspire. That's one like, aspire. What do you want to do in your life? Besides be a chef, that is. I already know you want to do Gain that. Gain as much knowledge as I can about either pastry, uh, bread, or the chef life. I see. And just common knowledge. That's what I aspire to do in my life. The more years you put behind you with that, the more valuable you're going to be. Indeed. Is there anything yeah. you want to do that you aspire to do when you grow up, Ter? Or, well, when you get to that point, that is. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of things that I'm fine with. I don't really have massive goals the only really thing I want to get more of is, I don't know, just better at cooking. Because I haven't, I've started, re I wouldn't say recently, maybe like a couple months. That's just when I've started cooking. I don't really know a lot. I'd like to know a lot more, though. I see. Yeah.
Um, I guess this was the podcast. We've already talked for like 45 minutes. Oh, shit, already? Yeah, and time flies when you're Appar- talking about apparently, apparently, holy shit. I didn't even realize it felt like 15 minutes almost. No, nah, it's already 45. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I guess we'll end it there then for now. Indeed. Thank you for coming, Ter. I appreciate it a lot. Mm-hmm. If you ever want to come back, you're always welcome. We always host it live within the server, so if you ever want to drop in, say hi, or even just stick around, you're more than welcome to. Mm. Um, All right, well, thanks for having me. Bye-bye. You're welcome. See you, Ter. Bye-bye. Um, and this is where we're going to end it here. Uh, my name has been 064, and this is episode 2 of the 104th podcast. Well, the 104th podcast. Um, with Wire. Major Indeed. Wire, that is. No. Thank you for coming, Hello. as always, my friend. I appreciate yeah. you immensely. Um, Thank you, too. And we will see you guys next Sunday with the next episode. Uh, we have a couple very special guests that are going to be here. To say the least. Oh, Lord. <laughs> um, I'm waiting on it. And yeah, we will see you guys next week. Um, Indeed. I am out.